Hi there, it's Mr. Leatherwood, and today we're going to talk about ratios and rates. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division. And I'm going to use something silly to show this. I'm going to use some flowers. So I have some white and some orange flowers. And we're going to compare these two quantities. I have white and orange. So the first way we can compare them is we're going to do a part-to-part -part ratio. And what that means is we're going to use part of the group and we're going to compare it to the other part. For instance, let's do white daisies to orange daisies because those are the two quantities that we have. We have white daisies and orange daisies. You'll notice I underline the word two. That's going to be important here in just a few minutes. Now, I can do white daisies to orange daisies, but I can also do orange daisies to white daisies. These are both part to part. Let's write that so you remember. Doo, 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 doo. These are part to part ratios, meaning that we're using part of the group and the other part of the group. We're comparing those two quantities. Now, let me show you how you can write these ratios. There are three different ways that we can write them. We can write them as words. We can write them with a colon, like you'd see at the end of where it says colon. Or you can write them as a fraction. So let's start with words. With words, if we're going to do orange daisies to white daisies, I have three orange daisies. So I would write three orange daisies and the word two three orange daisies two two white daisies so that's how I would write it in words three orange two two white as a colon I'm gonna write it a little different I'm going to write it three orange daisies two, notice what that word two represents, my colon, two white daisies. So we have three orange, two, two white. The colon is going to represent that word that's two. As a fraction, we go left to right. So we have orange daisies, we have three on top, and we have two on bottom. If we were to do white daisies to orange daisies, I would just reverse that. So I would do two white, two, three, orange. Hopefully you have better handwriting than Mr. Leatherwood. As a colon, since I have two first, two white, two, so I would do two, colon, three. So it would be reversed. And then my fraction, notice it's going to be different too, since we're going left to right, I'm going to say two, two, three. So these are both part-to-part -part ratios. There's another type of ratio that I want to talk to you about, and that is part to whole. So you notice I have white daisies to total daisies. So we're not our two quantities aren't my white and my orange anymore. Now it's my white and my total daisies. I could also do this with the orange ones. I could say orange daisies to total daisies. And so these are both going to be part to whole. So let's remember that. Let's write that down. Part to whole. The quantities, the two quantities that I'm describing is a part of the group, either white daisies or orange daisies, to my total, my all five daisies. So let's see how we would write that. So let's say we're doing white daisies to total daisies. I would say two white, two, there's that word two again, five total. You could write daisies if you want. And then so with a colon, it would be two white, two, five total. And then my fraction would be two over five. If I was to do it with the orange daisies, I have three orange, two, 
2, and the total is going to stay the same. That doesn't change. And so with a colon, I would write 3, 2, 5, and then for my fraction would be 3, 2, 5. And again, these are part to whole ratios. The quantities that I'm comparing is a part of the group to the whole group, the total amount. Now that we've done the different types of ratios, let's look at rates. A rate is a ratio that compares two quantities, so that seems similar to just the definition of ratio. Here's the difference, that are measured in different units. So a second ago, I was measuring daisies to daisies. They were the same units. But if you'll notice my example here, I have five daisies that cost $7.50. So I'm comparing daisies to money. So those are different units. So this is going to be a rate. Let's see how that would be written. So in words, I would do five daisies to seven dollars and fifty cents. As a colon, I would do five colon seven dollars and fifty cents and as a fraction I would do five over seven dollars and fifty cents and another way you may want to write this as you get started let's say for the colon you could write you could go ahead and write out the words to make sure that you're doing it right to seven dollars and fifty or if it was a fraction let's make a little squiggly here you could do five daisies, that way you remember daisies needs to be on top, over my $7.50. So this is going to be a rate. It compares two different units. Here's another rate. We're comparing ten daisies to one small vase. So daisies and a vase are two different units. They're not the same thing, so this would be a rate. Let's see how we would write that. In words, I would write 10 daisies, the word two, one small vase. As a colon, I would write 10 daisies, two, one, and again, you can write those words out if you'd like. And then as a fraction, since 10 daisies is first in my sentence, I'm going left to right, I'm going to have 10 on top and one on bottom. Now this, I want you to remember this right here because in a second we're going to talk about something when the denominator is a one. So let's talk about that now. A unit rate is a comparison of two measurements in which the denominator has a volume of one. For instance, are 10 daisies to one small vase. A second ago we wrote that as 10 daisies to one small vase. Our denominator has is one so that makes it a unit rate. This comes in very handy if we're trying to figure out how much something costs which we'll talk about here in just a few minutes. Before we do that it helps to learn about proportions. So let me teach you a little bit about what proportions are. A proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal to each other. For instance, I have white daisies to total daisies. I have two white daisies to my total of five, and then I say that's equal to eight over twenty. And from the math we've done previous in previous years, we can see that if we do five times four, we get twenty. And if we do 2 times 4, we get 8. So we know these are equivalent fractions, which since we're talking about ratios, that just means that it's a proportion. It's a proportion if both fractions or both ratios are equivalent to each other. We call this scaling up. When I went from 2 to 8, I multiplied by 4. And when I went from 5 to 20, I multiplied by 4. So I multiply the numerator and denominator by the same factor. And I would guess you've heard this probably from fifth grade saying, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. 
And since we're multiplying, we're scaling up. For instance, we have orange daisies to total daisies. I have three fifths, because there were three orange daisies to five total daisies. And then I went to 15 over 25. Well, how did I get there? Well, if you look, I did 3 times 5 to get me 15, and 5 times 5 to get me 25. These were equivalent fractions, so it makes them a proportion. Here's another proportion. We have cost to daisies. We have $7.50 over 5 daisies. And if we went down this time, notice we're going from 5 to 1, and we had to divide by 5, and we did 750 divided by 5. So this time we went down to get a, ooh, special one. What's that right there? A unit rate. Now we could figure out how much one daisy cost. So we do this, we call it scaling down. So when we divide the numerator and denominator by the same factor, we call this scaling down. Pretty simple. Scaling up means we multiply, we go bigger. Scaling down means we go down, we get smaller. Here's another example. Telephone poles over miles. Let's say we had 60 telephone poles in a three mile range and we wanted to figure out the unit rate. We wanted to figure out how to go from not three miles but every mile. So what I would do is I would go, okay, how did I get from three to one? Well, I divided by three. So since I'm scaling down, I'm going to do the same factor on the top. I'm going to divide by three. And 60 divided by three is going to be 20 poles. So we found the unit rate of 20 poles for every mile. This is how you're going to use ratios and proportions in math. So just a little review of all the things you need to learn from this video. You need to learn what a ratio is. You need to be able to tell me the two types, part to part versus part to whole ratio. You need to tell me, know that a rate measures in two different units, like flowers and money, or flowers and vases. Um, you need to know how to find a unit rate, so to go from a larger quantity to one on the denominator. You need to understand that a proportion just states that two ratios are equal. So if you're good at finding equivalent fractions, you'll be really good at finding proportions. And then you need to know how to use scaling up and scaling down to find missing information in a proportion. All right, I hope you enjoyed our video over ratios and rates. Have a great day.